Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brookwood, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, as well as, well, a elementary principal here at Brookwood. We're bringing you tonight's basketball game, non-conference. Here are the starters, Natalie Miller for the Westby Norseman. Also going to see number 12 in Grace Bailey out there. Caitlin Benish out onto the floor, as well as Allie Fortune. And we'll see Brooklyn Booty coming out onto the court here as well for the Norsemen under the direction of head coach Brian Hebner and Alex Gluck helping out. And here we go with the Falcons. Let's take a look at who's stepping out first. Number two in Vanessa Anderson. Ruby Mullenkamp, number four, she's a sophomore. Kylie Powell coming out, she's a senior. Reagan Mullenkamp. And Kimber Kaiser as well. Those are your Starting five here for the Falcons. We get ourselves ready. Well, we're glad to have everyone on board. We look forward to tonight's ball game and hope you enjoy it on the Brookwood, the now school district, Brookwood High School YouTube page. Here's the jump ball for tonight's non-conference ball game as the Norseman will pick up that jump ball and starting things off right away, it's Grace Bailey. Back up to the top here. Bailey takes a look, wants to come back up over uh, even further up the top here with Benish. Bounce pass from Fortune into Benish. Now here's Booty all alone. She, her shot is up too strong and the rebound put back too strong again. Finally coming away with it is Kaiser. Well, they had a shot both ways and the ball winds up back into the hands now uh, for the first time to the Falcons. Mullenkamp coming right back out to Mullenkamp. Kaiser back to uh, Reagan. Now Ruby off from the Vanessa Anderson pass. Here's Powell back from a, well, a little bit of an injury, sprained the ankle in a ball game in a recent win. Here's Mullenkamp making a little move. Her shot, no. And Kaiser tried to get the rebound, but that was Bailey stepping in, or check that, uh, Miller, I should say, stepping in, picking that one off. Benish looking for help. It's gonna go down low, and it's tipped away by Anderson. Tried to go down low to Fortune, and the ball was just tipped. Norseman get the ball in. Miller over here to the near side. Little pass inside uh, the lane here it goes and Fortune up and a little strong, but she's fouled on the way up. And the foul is gonna go on Kaiser. Number one for her, one for the team. Shot is up and good for Fortune. Tonight uh, for the Norsemen, they are playing without Erin Gluck as she too came down with an injury bug. You just uh, feel for the players when that happens. Uh, the competitor in you wants to keep going and you know you don't dare. But she might be back by tomorrow night. Here's a play, the shot is up and good. That was uh, Mullenkamp on the little layup. And when I say, in this case, it's Ruby. Ruby's number four, Reagan number 10. Here's a shot up by uh, Miller, no good. Here comes Reagan down the floor. And she goes over to Anderson, trying to make the move. She'll stop looking for the pop, and she did. And it's 4-2. 
Brookwood. Benish coming across the timeline. Benish is, uh, boy, I tell you what, there is, she has really done a nice job turned into, uh, when I say turned into, I mean, she just had the makings of a good player, and she is. Great speed. And, uh, you know, she's only a sophomore, so she's only going to get better. That was Ruby Mullenkamp with the shot. That was kind of blocked in there. Coming away with it is Miller to Booty. High pass, and I do mean high. It went up over the top. Not able to get to it. That was number 12 in Grace Bailey. Booty going to come out of the ball game and into the game number five in Ava Berg. Mullenkamp right underneath us here to inbound to Anderson. Vanessa across the timeline. Up here at the top, back to Anderson. Now Mullenkamp all alone. She'll take that shot off the front of the rim. No good. Here's a drive by Benish. Just a little bit too much on that layup attempt. Now we're going to get a jump ball here with Ruby. <coughs> Ruby Mullenkamp. And uh, let's see who was that. Might have been Miller in there. It goes to the Falcons. Kaiser up the top. They'll go swing it over to, to uh, number five in, uh, let's take a look here, in uh, Kylie Powell, excuse me. Powell back up to the top. Inside, there's Kaiser left all alone, and she hit it. Got the little layup, and uh, that was a nice pass. Way to, way to look, says Coach Travis Anderson. That ball tipped by Kaiser and out of bounds. Good anticipation there and got the ball into the hands, but just couldn't control it, and it goes out of bounds. Westby with Benish to inbound. Get it to Miller. Here's Fortune, her shot in and out, and then drops through. It was a nice look, and she was able to hit that one. It's 6-4, Brookwood. Reagan Mullenkamp put the ball up to the top with Kaiser. Kaiser over the far side, in low underneath here to Mullenkamp, and Ruby not able to get that one to drop, I believe. Or was that Reagan? i got to stop and think here for a second. <laughs> that was Reagan down low, just couldn't get that one to drop. Ball tipped out of bounds. Falcons maintain possession here off from that tip. Here's Powell. Wants to go inside, come back up to the top here with Ruby. Back to Powell, Ruby again, Mullenkamp over to the far side with Reagan. The twin sisters out there. Here's Kaiser, now Anderson. Anderson taking a look. Back up to Ruby Mullenkamp. And Kaiser taking their time, making sure they get a play. Trying to cut through was Powell. Back up to the top with Mullenkamp on that far side. Good work by Fortune on that defense. Booty back into the game now, by the way. Number 21 for the Norseman, down low. Back out to Reagan, near steal by Benish. Here's Anderson looking to try and make a move. Now instead goes to Powell. Her shot is going to be short and rebound. Powell got in there and battled with Fortune. Here's the quick pass down the court. And the layup, well, not really a layup, but just a nice soft touch, a little three-footer. And Booty gets that one to drop, and I think I had my uh, camera just off a little bit. So I do apologize on that one. 
tried to come in just a little, get a little better angle, and I didn't <laughs> didn't move the camera far enough. It is six six here with twelve minutes to go in this first half action. Here's Kaiser. That ball is going to be tipped away by Booty. Brooklyn able to get her hands on that one and push the ball away. Both these teams playing again tomorrow night. Brooklyn will be at Cashton. We'll have that one on my Twitch channel, on the Cashton Twitch channel. Meanwhile, Westby will host Black River Falls. Join Dave Gluck in that ball game. We'll have that one on the Westby Twitch channel. Anderson with the shot, no. And a rebound on the weak side going to Miller. Here's Berg, she'll get it across the timeline. Back up to Benish now, and they'll take their time. Kind of set things up. Oh, a cutter underneath. That is Miller. Her shot on a reverse layup is up and good. Nice play there by the Norseman as Benish uh, checked that. Maybe I should say Miller got behind everybody, able to get that one in. Kaiser looking for three. Back of the rim, no. Powell got the rebound. Back to Powell from Wollenkamp. Here's Ruby, up to Kaiser. Thought about it, now goes to Reagan Mullenkamp. Powell in the top. Kaiser to Mullenkamp and Anderson. Anderson looking to make a move. Sees uh, Kaiser down low, they'll kick it back out. Keeping that ball moving are the Falcons. Ruby Mullenkamp to Reagan and Kaiser. Inside the three-point line, comes right back. Here's Anderson for three, that is good. Well, a little inside-outside ball game and that shot went down for Vanessa Anderson. That ball is nearly picked off by Mullenkamp. Instead, back it goes here to Benish. Now Miller. Set to come back into the ball game is Grace Bailey, number 12. Here's a three, and I believe that was Benish. And it's 11-9, now Westby. Anderson down the court, they come. Here to the near side with Mullenkamp. Back up the top of the key. They'll hand off here to Kaiser. Kaiser goes over to Ruby Mullenkamp. Baseline move, layup is up and good. Nice job there by Mullenkamp going on the baseline. Westby now with the ball. And a tie ball game here at the 9-15 mark and counting. Miller looking down low. Instead goes out on the far wing. That is going to be a layup attempt. No, that's short. Put back up. Still no good by Booty. Again, she puts it up. Still can't go. And the ball coming out of that mess with uh, Reagan Mullenkamp on the ground. But she was able to tip it into the hands of Anderson. Quick pass down low here. They'll go back out to Anderson. Nearly picked off, and it is. Benish with the quick hands and the quick feet. Here's the play. That is going to be Berg for two. And we're going to get a timeout here on the floor. Timeout by the Falcons. It's 13-11, Westby. Well, a very interesting ball game going on here right now in this 13-11 uh, score with the Norsemen out in front. Falcons with the ball here will in, inbound. That'll be Ruby to Vanessa Anderson. Anderson will turn and walk the ball across the timeline. Now a little bit more of a jog. Stop and fires over here to Powell, or Posh, excuse me, now into the ball game. A steal and the pass, and there you are. Just like that, it's 15 to 11.
Here's Willow Posh now with the ball. Over to Mullenkamp, back up the top. Here's Ruby for three. That was, ooh, in and out, no good. And the putback is good. I think that might have been Reagan there. He kind of looked down for a second and didn't catch. Here's the Falcons, Anderson. Mullenkamp over here on the wing. This is going to be Ruby with the drive. That was too hard. And coming away with it is Benish. That ball is tipped around. Anderson goes out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Norsemen. Into the ball game now. Number five re-entering is Kylie Powell. She comes in for Reagan Mullenkamp. We'll get a short rest. Coach Anderson getting the rotation going once again. Inside pass, this is gonna be Fortune, just a little short. Into the hands of Mullenkamp, racing down the floor. And we're gonna get a foul here now. Let's see who that foul is gonna go on for the Norseman. That looks like it's gonna be on Grace Bailey. Shot is up short, Fortune up in the air to get the rebound. Football on the floor here. We're gonna get a, a little bit of a scrum, but still no whistle. Fortune comes out of there with it. Well, I tell you what, that was tenacity right there for Allie Fortune. Now we're gonna get a push on Ruby Mullenkamp. Norseman get the ball in. Benish to Miller. Down low. That was Bailey. The ball bounced off from somebody and into the hands of Willow Posh. Brookwood slowing things down and they lost the handle. On the far side, the Norsemen with the ball. They'll come back on uh, our half, our quarter of the section here. Here comes a drive, lost the handle. It's gonna be a reach-in foul. That might be on uh, Kimber Kaiser. We'll have to wait and see. Now well, they're gonna call it on Mullenkamp, on Ruby. That's number two for her. Mullenkamp and Powell will come out of the ball game for the moment. Into the game is uh, Wallace, number 21. Here's Anderson, it's one on two. She split that D and she got that one to drop. Wow, she got in between the two defensive players and was able to get the layup and we're tied at 15 apiece. Brooklyn Booty set to come back in for the Norsemen. Here's uh, Ava Berg over to the far side with Miller. Now Benish, she'll, she'll slow things down, back up. Looking for a quick cutter, nobody there except Benish or Miller on the far wing. That was Bailey. Falcons doing a nice job with the defense there. The shot, no, Benish with a rebound. She got up in the air, comes away with it again. They'll start all over. A free look on the shot, no, and that will go out of bounds. So you have uh, Wallace out there, Indiana, and here's Anderson. Reagan Mullenkamp, Posh, and Kaiser for the Falcons. We have Bailey, number 12 for Westby. Brooklyn Booty, there's a shot rolled around and came all the way around and then dropped over the edge right into the hands of Benish. And she can bring it down the court, of course. And we're gonna get a timeout by Westby. 15 apiece. Timeout on the floor. Well, we hope you're enjoying tonight's ball game as we continue on with the broadcast here from Brookwood High School. 
It's a 15 all ball game here. The Norseman will inbound right underneath us. And they will not get the ball in. It's stolen away. Here's Anderson looking for the layup. It is up and good. And now Brookwood has the lead at 17-15. Well, they kind of got caught in no man's land on that pass, and Brookwood was able to get a hand on it, tipping it away from the offense. Here is a nice turnaround shot from Booty. And we're knotted again at 17. Mullenkamp up to top to Ruby. Reagan to Ruby. Here's Posh. Back to uh, Reagan and Powell. You have your starters with the exception of uh, Posh who has started. There's a drive and down to the floor goes Anderson but she will get the call on the bucket. No foul. 19-17 your score. Trying to come up with a steal. That ball just missed. That was Powell. Here's a nice layup by Benish. And again, those quick feet that she has, able to get past there and get the layup. Basically untouched. Posh on the down low, comes up on the wing here in the right elbow. Mullenkamp to Powell, over to Anderson. Back to Posh. Here is uh, Reagan. Anderson back up the top. Again, they'll take their time here and work their offense. Looking for a little break there in that D. Here's Powell. Going to Posh, she sets up for the three. It's off the back of the rim, no good. And a nice job getting to the ball was Mullenkamp. And she's gonna be called for stepping out of bounds. 2.49 here to go. Ava Berg back into the ball game for the Norsemen. And let's take a look here uh, into the ball game. Kaiser, that ball thrown way over the top. So you have Anderson for Brookwood, Kaiser, the two Mullenkamps, and Kylie Powell. For the Norsemen, you have Benish up on the top. Miller over on that far side on the wing. And here you have Ava Berg, number five, guarding Powell. Then you have Booty down low along with Bailey. Brookwood taking their time, lobbing it down low to Kaiser. Here's a Pass out to Anderson, her shot rimmed in and out, no good. And now we're gonna get a jump ball here by Reagan. She locked up with Bailey. And the arrow says Brookwood. And we're gonna get a timeout. On the floor, we'll do the same back in a moment. As we come back, we're knotted up at 19 apiece. We swing over here to the right side where Vanessa Anderson looks to inbound. She does, gets it over here to Powell. Back to Anderson off of another pass, and now the shot no good, and the putback is good by Kimber Kaiser. Bringing the ball across. That was Benish to Miller. Back to Benish. She goes down low with uh, Berg, it looks like. Yep. Ava comes out to the top. Inside with uh, Booty. Her shot is up. No good. Off to the left here. And Anderson coming away with it. Booty guarding her step for step. Now backs away. Kaiser stops. Takes a shot. No. Benish with the rebound, went down, but picked herself right back up. Pretty good move there. The sophomore 
Anderson with a near steal. Berg back out to Miller. Kaiser trying to get that. Now coming away with it is Mullenkamp over to Anderson. Oh, she threw it behind her, and the ball is going to go out of bounds. Well, great try here. Just uh, got a little bit too far underneath the basket, so to speak. Sometimes you can't help that. You're trying to get down the court. <laughs> Berg comes out, and Fortune enters. Back in as the starter for the Norseman. Benish across the timeline. Up to the top here. Way out in the front with Miller. Benish down low. She's going to take a move, and her shot is up, and it will drop in after about three bounces around the rim. It's 21 apiece with 30 seconds to go in the half. We're going to see a lot of timeouts in that second half, I'll bet. <laughs> the, way, the way this game is so tight. Down with 20 seconds. Benish coming away with it. We're going to get a foul here on Anderson. Tried to get the blocking foul, but she is... Uh, Called for the block. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. So they called the offensive foul, so Anderson did get herself established. 17.4 seconds in the half. They get the ball into Kaiser to Anderson. Going down the middle of the court, lobs it in to Powell. Her shot is up and good. Here comes Westby. Her pass, uh, that was, that was uh, Miller, her pass, a little too strong, up over the top of everybody. Four seconds, here's Kaiser, back to Anderson again. She got time here, can she put it up? She does, it's gonna be off the mark. And uh, there you have it, it's a 23-21 score here. We'll put 10 minutes on the board and the clock will start. And when we come back, It'll be second half action. 23-21, the Falcons. Welcome back to second half action here with this non-conference ball game between the Brookwood Falcons as they host the Westby Norsemen. Second half underway here. Once they get the ball in, they do to Booty. Looking to bring the ball here to the near side is Benish. Able to do that, back up the top with Booty. She wants to go to the right side with Kaiser guarding. Spins to the left, here's a shot. It's blocked by Kaiser. Into the hands of Anderson and down the court go the Falcons into Reagan Mullenkamp. They'll kick it out to Kaiser and now Powell. Moving the ball around, trying to make a move was Mullenkamp, here's Kaiser, that ball's blocked, back into the hands of Kaiser, and hey, she put it up in the end. And there is a 25-21 lead at 17-17 to go here in the ball game, the opening seconds of this uh, second half. Quick pass in underneath to Fortune. She has an easy look for the bucket there. She banks it in. Norseman backed within two at 25-23. Kaiser with the travel. That was a skid, skidding stop is what I call that one. Norseman to get the ball in. Just got it in and now it's a foot race. Able to get to it, oh, and I think we might get a travel. Yep, that's what I thought. Travel here on Bailey. So a tough break there for Westby. Kaiser with the look. That's overshot right into the hands of Benish. She'll break the pass, the press, with the pass over to Miller. Bailey looking, coming up here to the top with Fortune. Allie goes here to the near side, knocked away by Ruby Mullenkamp. Yeah. 
Benish to inbound up to the top here and tipping the ball with just for a moment was Anderson. Norseman with the shot that's gonna go up high and the rebound coming away here by Mullenkamp. She swings it out here to the near side and heads down court and we're gonna get a foul in here on Bailey. Bailey coming out, Berg comes in. Skip the pass over to the far side. Now Kaiser back up to the top with Mullenkamp. Ruby makes the move to the right side and passes the ball off. Here's Kaiser from Reagan Mullenkamp. Back to Reagan now out there on that far wing. Here's a shot, high arcing shot that's going to be short and trying to save it right into the hands of Benish. That was Ruby, or check that, that was Reagan on the save. Quick pass down the court, here comes Fortune, and we're gonna get a foul on Ruby as she collides with Ellie Fortune. The Norsemen get the pass in. Quick pass down low, we got a big collision there with Anderson and Benish. Anderson will pick up her second foul. Actually, it's only her first. Shot is up, no good by Benish. Second one is good though. And the Norsemen are within a point at 25-24. Shot is up, no good. Mullenkamp, ball tipped away at the last moment by Westby. Anderson to inbound. Up here on the wing, they'll go down low, back up to the top. Shot is up, that is no good. And we got a foul here on Powell. Norseman get the ball in. And a quick pass to Ava Berg, to Booty. They break the press. Down low, here's a turnaround shot up and good. Allie Fortune with a nice move and banking that one in. 26-25 Westby now, just under 1440 and the clock continues to move here in this ball game. We're in second half action. Mullenkamp, over to Mullenkamp. Falcons, bounce pass down low. Anderson, she's gonna be fouled. That one might go on Brooklyn Booty. And uh, let's take a look, it is on her. First shot is up, no good. Anderson will get another try. Booty with her first foul. It's the second team foul of the half. Brookwood with three. That shot is up and good, and we're back to an even ball game. At the 14.03 mark, it's 26 apiece. 
Bounce pass stolen away here by Powell. Back out it goes underneath the hands and arms, <laughs> I should say, of Mullenkamp into Reagan. That was Ruby. Here's Anderson for three. That is good. Oh, she drilled that one. And it's 29-26. And the timeout here on the floor by Westby. Back we come to the ball game after the timeout. It was a full minute timeout here by the Norsemen. Must be with the ball. A little give and go. Here's the attack. It's a little bit short from uh, Benish. And here comes Anderson now down the court, a shot up, no good over the top, rebound, put back, still no good, and the ball tipped away at the last moment. It'll stay with Brookwood. Booty set to come back in. She'll come in for Bailey. Anderson with the inbound to Mullenkamp up to the top with Powell. Back over to Anderson. Here's a shot up. That is good by Anderson. Wow, what a what a shot there. It's 32-26 all of a sudden with 12.44 to go in the ball game. Here's Booty. Brookwood with the lead. Here's a two, it's a little bit strong on the rebound. Mullenkamp coming away with it. And she'll come down the middle of the court. Looks to her uh, right side. Here is Wallace, that shot is short. Here is Booty, now a foul underneath. That's going to go on Anderson. Fortune in way deep, and that was just a little too much for Vanessa Anderson to get to, and the foul was caused, caused by the move of Fortune. Allie gets the first one in. Trying to cut that lead down to four on uh, Brookwood. She does, 32-28 now. Anderson with the ball. At the 12 minute mark of the ball game. Here's Wallace to Powell on the wing. Moving the ball from Near to far, Kaiser back up the top. Mullenkamp goes down low, tipped away at the last moment by Booty. Good anticipation there by Booty. Back up the top with Kaiser. Thought about the three, instead comes over here to the right side, Wallace to Kaiser, to Anderson. Anderson trying to make a move, she gets free, her shot is up, no good, off the backboard, and Berg comes away with it. Little lob pass back towards the corner where Benish was at. Benish across the timeline, goes to Berg. Berg on the drive, now bounce pass up to Miller. Norseman keeping it over on that far side. Here's a running shot, that's good by Benish. And it's 32-30. Westby battling back. 
Shot is up, no, rebound put back. That is not gonna be good either. Coming away with it is Miller. She goes to Benish. And Caitlin will get across the timeline up here to Ava Bird. And now Miller. Miller will look to make a move, comes up to Booty. Booty lob pass down low to Fortune and there's gonna be a foul. Well, a little mismatch there as Fortune set down low and Kylie Powell behind her winds up with the foul. Thirty-two, thirty-one. Willow Posh back into the ball game now. We hadn't seen her since the first half. Wallace will come out. Second shot is up. We got a tie ball game. So that six point deficit was erased in just a couple of moments. And Brookwood will, on their home court, try to get a lead again. Posh back up to Anderson. Down on the wing, here is a drive by Mullenkamp. Her shot is short, got her own rebound, put back. That was partially blocked from behind. And now the Norseman with under 10 minutes to go can take the lead. Just out of bounds was Miller. Here's Posh, up to Anderson. Hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. It's been a very entertaining ball game. Both teams back and forth they go. Here's Kaiser, and now a travel call here as Kaiser moved just a little too much apparently. Here's the lob pass. Here a little bit of a breakaway and Posh is gonna cause the foul. Ava Berg was left alone on that far side and she did the right thing by going to the bucket. Shot is up, no good. And Berg will have a second opportunity here to get the lead for the Norsemen. Well, tomorrow night, the Norsemen will be back home in Westby at the Fieldhouse. That shot is good for Berg. They will host the Black River Falls Tigers as they come to town. Follow the game on the Twitch channel, it's gonna be the Westby channel. There's a shot, a little bit short, and rebound. That was Fortune. Dave Gluck with the call. Here's a takeaway by Anderson, two on two. She's gonna stop, try to pop that one, and it will roll in. Got the job done, and it's 34-33, Brookwood. Meanwhile, I will be in Cashton as the Eagles host these very same Falcons. Here's the ball, take away. Shot is up, it's gonna be a foul here on uh, Benish, I believe, Mullenkamp. And Ruby will go to the line. That one will be on the Twitch Cashton channel tomorrow night. Both games beginning at uh, JV at 5.45. Shot is up and good. And then uh, Saturday, the game plan is to have the game, uh, the game, <laughs> the Saturday is to have a wrestling tournament, the Richland Center Wrestling Invitational. 
the plan is, the hope is, that that will be on the uh, Twitch Westby channel. There's a big block by Kaiser Anderson. Bounce pass. Oh, off the hands of Mullenkamp. Tell you what, that's what you had to do, though. She was left alone. You got to go with that bounce pass. That was a good try. Emily O'Rourke, number 22, into the ball game. She comes up with the pat, with the ball. Here is uh, Mullenkamp at short again. Ruby just could not get that one over the top. Here's a takeaway by Kaiser. Her shot no good. Got a rebound, and now we're going to get a foul underneath. Mullenkamp to the ground, just under eight minutes to go. Shot is off the mark here by Kaiser. Second one coming. And that's just short and they're gonna call, oh, well, somebody with a lane violation apparently. And we got a timeout. Timeout on the floor here by the Norsemen. Norseman trailing by two to the Falcons and the Norseman will get the ball and go the length of the court here to try and tie this game up. Just under eight minutes to go. They get it to Booty. Lob pass. Oh, off the hands of uh, Fortune, but it does go into the hands of Bailey, it looks like. Back over here to Benish. Well, Westby dodged a little bit of a bullet there, didn't they? Mullenkamp with a good D. That was Ruby, now Reagan's turn. Back to Benish. Here's Bailey in a baseline move. The ball bounce pass It's gonna be picked off and in a travel on Kaiser. She picked it off, but fell to the floor and the travel was called. Benish will inbound. Bailey goes into Booty. Booty kicks it over the far side with Ava Burke. Norseman being a little more deliberate. Here's a shot inside, though. That one's no good. And we're going to get a jump ball. Benish in there. O'Rourke helps her up. Westby gets the arrow. Miller comes in for Bailey now. And the ball bounce pass, it goes through. We're gonna get a jump ball and the tie up favors Westby on this one. Booty here on this uh, near sideline goes back to Burke. Burke trying to get across, she gets it into Booty beating the time on that one. A turnaround shot is up no good by Benish. Boy, had a good shot there. It just rolled off the front. Here's Mullenkamp. Her drive, no, it hits the backboard. And now Berg winds up stepping out of bounds. <clears throat> Lob pass into Kaiser, her move up and good. Wow. Kimber Kaiser with the bucket. 37-33. Now go to Berg, back up to Benish, coming across the timeline. Here's 
Here's Miller to Fortune looking for a cutter in Benish. Turn around shot, no good by Miller. She had a good look, just overshot that one and quickly down the floor comes Mullenkamp's. And uh, put back up and good. I believe that was Ruby getting her own put back. 5.30 to go in the game. And a timeout here, a full timeout, says Coach Brian Hebner. 39-33, Brookwood Falcons out in front of the Westby Norsemen. Norseman down by six again here. And they'll look to battle back. Brookwood had a six point lead earlier in this second half and Westby was able to pick up on that deficit, change it into I think a one point lead at somewhere in there. Here's a turnaround, that's gonna be too hard. In fact, a foul on the backside. Let's see who that's gonna go against. It is gonna go on Anderson, that's her third. Fortune hits the first. And she got the second. Vanessa Anderson with the ball. She gets across the timeline over in the far wing. She sets up for a three, that's off the mark. Ball tipped away, back into Anderson and we're gonna get a foul here on Bailey as she crashes in to Vanessa Anderson. Brookwood with eight team fouls, so every time there's a foul on, uh, that they cause, Westby will go to the line. Norseman with only five. O'Rourke, back to Anderson, she sets up. That's short, into the hands on a long rebound. And a jump ball situation here with Anderson and Benish, and it stays with Brookwood on that one. Anderson to inbound. Shot is up, we're gonna get a foul here. That's gonna go on Booty. That shot rolls around and drops through for Mullenkamp. And there's number two, 41-35. Falcons back up by six again. <clears throat> and there's a near steal by Kaiser. And now Westby with a bit of a break. There's a drive. And that is gonna be a blocking foul on Mullenkamp. Powell will come into the game. That's number five on her. And it's kind of like a free time out here because you have to make a decision on who's gonna come into the ball game and Coach Anderson will use that opportunity here to talk to her, his uh, ladies here and say, here's what you gotta do. So Ruby is out of the ball game. Kylie Powell re-enters for her. Benish with the first shot is strong off the back of the rim, no good. Got the second one though.
Anderson with the travel call. Four twenty-seven to go in the game here, and it's a five-point advantage for Brookwood. Westby, you know, will put the pressure on now. Try and close that gap. Yep, there's a travel. I thought she might have taken a little extra half step there to get through that defense, and she did. Anderson will walk across as we hit the four minute mark of the ball game. Here's Anderson, try to work the clock a little bit. This is Reagan Mullenkamp, now with the defense coming out after her. The pass over to Anderson, nearly tipped away. And she'll go back up here to the top here and start over, Mullenkamp. And a timeout, it's gonna be a full timeout here by Brookwood with 3.25 to go in the game. Norseman on the defensive side, Brooklyn able to get the ball in to Anderson. Over here on the wing, O'Rourke back up to the top. Now Powell, Mullenkamp, under a little pressure here, goes over to Powell on that far wing. Gotta get into Anderson, they do. Anderson trying to look to making a move here with Benish guarding. Here's a drive, kicks it out, O'Rourke back up to the top. Looking to run some time off here. They're under 245 here to go in the game. Powell back to Anderson. O'Rourke again and Anderson. They got uh, Emily O'Rourke down in the corner here on the near side, Kimber Kaiser on the far side as they need it. Here's Powell, bounce pass up to Mullenkamp and O'Rourke again. Anderson, oh, almost, there's gonna be a foul. Well, that's the seventh team foul here now on Westby, so it's a one and one situation. Anderson hits that one. Second one on the way, and that's good. And it's a seven point vantage here for Brookwood. Benish across the timeline here to the near side. It goes with Miller. Miller looking over the field. Gave up her dribble, goes up to Benish. Nearly lost it, but able to recover. Down low here, there's a three on the way. That's short, but into the hands of Fortune. Kicks it out to Benish. Tipped away by Anderson. Here's Booty underneath. She'll turn, one hand shot, no good. And the rebound, we're gonna get a tie up. Down to a minute 44 to go. Benish to inbound. Inside, that's Fortune and a nice play. And a timeout here by Westby. 140 to go in the game and it's a five point advantage for the Falcons. Well, back we come, and the Falcons will get the ball in. Back to Mullenkamp. She gets it across the timeline down the far, this near sideline. Now comes back up to the top, trying to burn some time here as they have that lead of five. Back to Anderson, they go. Spin move, Anderson out to the top. That ball tipped away, and it's lost by Mullenkamp. Again, five point advantage. Two possession ball game here for the Norsemen. 
<clears throat> so they have a shot here. They get it in to Miller. Now Berg looking for some help here as, uh, boy, nice job on that defense. Uh-oh, the ball trips away, and Brookwood comes up with it. Bounce pass. They flip it back out. Going to burn some time here as we're under a minute. Well, they would have loved to have gotten the bucket there, but couldn't get, get it done. Now we're going to get a foul from behind. They're going to call that one, I think, on maybe O'Rourke. We'll wait and see. Yep, that's who they're going to call that one on. Benish hits the first. Into the game is Bailey. I would imagine we're going to see some pressure coming here. Shot is no good. Fortune gets the rebound or put back no good. And coming away with it is a work. Lead pass out to Anderson. She'll slow things down for the moment with 40 seconds to go. To Mullenkamp. Needs some help. Oh, she threw it right into the hands of the Westby Norseman. And the layup is good. Back to Kylie. Now Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp. Lob pass over to Powell. Anderson with the ball. Down to 15 seconds. 43-41, we got a foul. The foul is gonna go on Miller. Well, one possession ball game and you gotta, you gotta get this one. Got to get this first one. Oh, they can win it with a, Westby can win it with a three. Shot is up and good. Next one rims in and out, and we nearly got a tie up here. Here comes Fortune, and she will look for the layup, and that's no good. And the time is gonna run out. Wow, what a game here. 44-41 is your final score. The Brookwood Falcons come away with a hard-fought win over the Westby Norseman in this non-conference game, 44-41. Again, tomorrow night, uh, I'll be in Cashton with the same Brookwood Falcons, and Dave Gluck will be with the Westby Norsemen in Westby. We'll hope to see you there on the hard court. So long, everyone. Have a great evening. Again, Brookwood with the win by 3, 44-41.